ever wanted to turn simple boxes into a mind-blowing projection mapping art like this, today we are doing exactly that with not only one but three different software. But here's the tricky part. Each software has unique feature. So which one actually makes your life easier? And to find that out, in this video, we will take few white boxes and stack them, then get a projector and build something crazy together, me and you. We will be using Resolume Arena, MadMapper and HeavyM on the same installation at the same time. We can totally expect to end up with three different projects and yes, that's the best part of it. Then we will try to make 8 scenes or cues in each software. Each got their own style. We will make some basic slices then go a bit advanced sometimes. Then play those 8 cues or scene with the same music so we get to see all three in one platter, in one music. Within the whole process, I'm sure you will find many tips and hacks within Resolume, MadMapper and HeavyM. Also, projection mapping as whole. Hi, my name is Vunat Sabir Ahmed. Let's dive in. If you have seen the other video in this channel, you already know when it comes to projection mapping, what are the standout features of Resolume Arena, MadMapper and HeavyM. If you haven't checked that video, check out after this one. So here's the quick summary. All three software are totally unique at what they are, what they do best, so different in price because they are made for three different type of projection mappers among us. We're going to find out. Enough talk, let's see what we have got here. So we have few cubes made with whiteboard to play with today. Let's arrange them in some meaningful way, then take a pause. What do we want from this? We are going to place a projector in the opposite area where it covers the whole area. Now that the projector is set, let's run the game and start with Resolume Arena. By the way, you cannot achieve the functions needed for projection mapping with Resolume Avenue, the stripped down version. We start with dropping a solid color, making it white, then going to advanced output, then set the screen output to this connected projector. When we are projecting white from our projector onto our mapping surface, we make sure it covers the whole area. Then we take a photo with the camera, take it to any software that can clean it up a bit, in my case Adobe Photoshop, yes I hate Adobe like you, but let's move on. Then we drag the photo to Resolume and make sure the photo dimension fits our Resolume composition dimension. Then we go back to Advanced Artboard. From here, we have two ways. Let's start with the lazy and easy way. Lazy way is where I take one slice of the composition, trim the important part from the input mapping, then map it to the actual surface that is in front of you. It's going to be messy at start. So I will set the four corners as near as possible. Then gradually I will add mesh point in between and fix the geometry. Less division points I use, better control I have. So that's the lazy way. Now the crazy way or the awesome way. You will know why this is awesome in later parts. I will take a lot of slices, each covering a face of the box. Don't worry, I'm just covering now. Later, we will add mask to cut off the unnecessary parts. Note that at this phase, we don't really need the projector. If we have a projector and we can keep it running, it's okay, no problem. After we are done covering each faces with slices, now we'll draw input mask for each of them and cut off the parts we don't ever need, we don't want to see them. And that will make each slices separate. Okay, for Resolume, this part is really time consuming and a bit stressful. But guess what? We are crazy, so we need to spend time to get awesome results. But don't worry, if you see how MadMapper and HeavyM does this part, you will be surprised. After we are done with our visual surgery and input mapping, let's go to output mapping and select all the slices. Very simple, right click and select match input shape. That will make all the shapes in places just like input mapping. Output mapping becomes something controllable. Now turn on the projector or get back to the projector. Go to the advanced output and select all the slices. 
try to match the projection to the reality as much as possible. Oh, by the way, we have used edge detection effect on the photo to get the photo outlined so that we could work better. That's the beauty of Resolume, full of beautiful and useful effects. And now we will take some time and turn on one by one and try to match each one with perfection. This part is going to take time. Until now in Resolume Arena, we are making the projection mapping and we are getting ready to actually start making a show. We will get into making a show in Resolume, but first let's check out how this part, I mean setting up the projection mapping works in MadMapper. Is it that time consuming like Resolume Arena? By the way, whatever we did in Resolume Arena, this is moderately advanced level. If you think that you are missing something or you want to get your basics perfect, check out Resolume Masterclass. This will get you from zero to intermediate level. Remember, in Resolume Arena, we took a photo, tried to clean it up, then used it as a reference, then cut it to pieces, then map using long, long time just to get into projection mapping. Oh, This is just opposite when it comes to MadMapper. Let me explain. The projector is already set up and pointed at the mapping installation. In MadMapper, I just connect one camera. I used capture card but you could do with USB even a webcam. So I point the camera towards the mapping installation. Then I hit space scanner and oh damn magic starts. The projector starts throwing lines and shapes on mapping surface. The camera is capturing images that is feeding to MadMapper and space scanner. After taking tons of photos MadMapper starts calculating and very fast and bam you get a photo what the projector is seeing. This is just a game changer. So after space scanner is done, we have the perspective of the projector set as the composition preview in the background. And now we can turn off the projector or go back home and start drawing slices as we want. That's it. The mapping is so flexible and awesome in MadMapper. Maybe not here, but I have used MadMapper for complex installation and oh baby, nobody does it better than MadMapper. If it's complex, then MadMapper it is. And yeah, I can very easily make outlines from slices. After making enough slices, we will group them together and try to make different arrangements and we can use them when we will make shows. So projection mapping in MadMapper was super robust and quick. How about making a show? Okay, we will see that. But before that, let's check out HeavyM. If you like this video, I bet you are going to love our new channel, All About Stage Show. There we talk about lights, visual, LED, stage effect, anything and everything that goes with stage show production. Check it out. In HeavyM, you start by connecting the projector, then straight up drawing with shapes and pen. It's so intuitive getting to see action right away. So first you draw boxes and shapes you want to play with. You can drag and drop preset shapes like boxes, circles, triangles or you can draw with your own pen. And the snap tool is so fantastic when you're drawing. Okay, that's it. You are ready to make shows in HeavyM. Yes, you can assume making show in HeavyM is also easy like mapping. But how about Resolume? Let's see how to make a show in Resolume. In Resolume, we start with, yes, you guessed it right, strobe, just to serve stereotype and add slices as mask. Next scene, we do a strobe on Z. We have Z slice. Also add some sources and more slices. We make more sources. Because we are in Resolume, what can we do? You are right again. Let's do chaser. I will make some chases because we made enough slices to go crazy. Also, we will make some effects called Slice Strobe by Capity Hippo. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. Check this out. These are awesome plugins. See, that's the beauty with Resolume. 
there are a lot of creative brands who are successfully running a proper business based on Resolume Marketplace because the user community is big. Then we end up with a show with the Resolume logo seen. In short, you know. Last thing, we will make one simple keyboard shortcut that will let us to play next column and we will use that to stay on music. So making a show in Resolume was simple and it was fun because the interface is a DJ like performing interface. This part is beautiful in Resolume. Okay, what about MadMapper? Let's take a look how we can make a show in MadMapper. I start with making some outline effect with the built-in slice effect. We will use some texture material from material library and yes, you are going to need a license to access the material library. So, you know, the material library is so rich, oh my god. So we will add some material into our library that we are going to use across our project. Then we select the slices group wise the groups we made to have this control and we apply material into separate parts now that we have more control so we have four groups big boxes small boxes the z and the outline so we start noodling with look select a group assigning materials noodling parameters of materials sometime effect on group and of course i don't always need to show all four of my groups in all my scenes and we continue making scenes. So we have eight scenes ready. Again, our last scene would be MadMapper logo. Finally, we make a simple keyboard shortcut to play next cue so that we can use that shortcut to stay synced with the music. So making a show in MadMapper was a bit complicated, almost like a coder-like interface, not a performance-like interface, but wait till you see how easy and simple it is to make shows in HeavyM. Okay, if you remember, we have our slices made in HeavyM. Now we select them and hit random. This will give us random looks. We keep hitting random until we find something sweet, not as it is, but as a starting point. Then we make a sequence and noodle the perimeters. When we like the look, then we move forward for the next sequence. We can also use the presets that comes with HeavyM here. They are also great as it is. Yet, I would love to tweak it as I need. Then I keep making scenes as I go. When I hit something, the last scene will be HeavyM logo. And we will end with making a keyboard shortcut to play next scene. And voila, we are ready. Yes, AVM is actually that simple. So I have built my career around projection mapping since 2013. So I found AVM so sweet tool for both novice and professionals. So if you plan to buy AVM, use this promo code to get 15% discount because you are awesome. Now we are ready with our shows in Resolume, MadMapper and AVM. Let's play them on the same music and see it together. But remember, it was supposed to come out unique. Let's see how it looks. Now, if you have been watching my videos and you think that I could bring value to your workflow, I got a great news for you. I train individuals, often team to develop your skills such as stage design, visual design, VJing, projection mapping and more. Reach out to me, we will talk more. And hi, my name is Zunaid Sabbiramid. I'm from a beautiful country called Bangladesh. And 
We took a basic light and took it to somewhere else and had super fun. If you want to check that out, check out this video next. See you in the next video.